this weather report brought to you by Shell. Good evening, folks. Great conditions here today. Not so in the eastern states, especially Sydney. They are sunbathing on Bondi, dodging hail the next. In the last blast of winter, unconventional hail uh, storm came through, causing widespread damage. And, of course, the damage to lots of roofs, houses, cars, vegetation. Mind you, some took it all in their stride and they thought it was winter all over again, taking the chance to play outdoors. However, we don't think that this activity will be uh, prolonged and they'll probably clear it up as soon as they can get to it. Meanwhile, back at home, 7 degrees this morning, up to 21.4 this afternoon, currently 16.6, and the barometric pressure's on the fall. Now, having a look at our state, please be aware, while it was fine today, we do have a very severe system coming through. It's going to reach the west in the morning, move through the state into the east by the afternoon or evening, bringing with it some really widespread rain activity, followed up a secondary frontal system bringing through further showers that will persist probably through to Tuesday morning and clearing after that. However, with that, we are expecting some very strong to gusty storm activity. Having a look at the analysis, while we've got the high pressure cell keeping us lovely, there's that long spread of frontal activity. The northerlies will still persist in behind it, west to northwesterly, as I say, becoming strong to gale force at times on the coast. And with that dry condition turning into the wet, we are expecting some uh, interference to the electromagnetic uh, properties of the air. If further afield, Perth is the one with showers. The rest are fine. Maximum range from 17 in Perth up to 34 in Alice. And here in our state today, maximum range from 15 degrees at Edithford up to 32 degrees at Annabella. So for the forecast then, fine and mild first, raised dust in the north and west, then the strongest squally westerly change coming through, rain and thunderstorms to follow. The warnings are for gales in the coastal waters south of Elliston, Arno Bay and Adelaide, strong winds for all remaining areas. Temperature-wise, 24 the top for Clare, 20 degrees the top for Mount Gambier. Elsewhere in the state, you're looking at 22 for Newry and 22 for Victor Harbour. On the waters, here's the rub. Northerly winds at 30 knots. They'll shift northwesterly, 17 to 22, then strengthening again to 30 knots by the evening, seas to 2 metres. And for the metro area, so fine in the morning, then that rain in the afternoon, 24 for both Adelaide and Elizabeth, maximum of 22 Mount Barker, no longer at 23 over the next few days. Now, with shower activity persisting right through, there may be a slight break on Wednesday, but the persistence of that rain and shower activity coming back on Thursday, temperature staying around, the long-term forecast at this stage, showers. Here's Kev. Thanks, Xavier. And now here's a reminder of today's top stories. Two female tourists abducted at gunpoint in remote bushland south of Darwin. The women were tied up to a tree but managed to escape in circumstances reminiscent of last year's kidnapping of Joanne Lees and Peter Falconio. There's to be a review of security procedures at the Star City Casino after a male patron was spotted with a sawn-off rifle protruding from his trousers. And it looks like Wayne and Sally Carey's lives are back on track the day the couple left Melbourne for an overseas holiday. And that's it from us. Hope all you dads had a fabulous Father's Day. We're assured not every father in Adelaide took their kids to the Royal Show, but at times it sure looked like it. Good night. <laughs>